Hello backpackers, this is Juan from Juan Backpacks and I'm here today with a trail tested review. Typically I do my reviews at about 300 miles with a piece of gear. This piece of gear is a little bit different. I'm gonna do a 100 mile review because I feel like I've got enough time on trail, enough use of this piece of gear that I can give you an honest, good, solid review of this piece of gear. And the piece of gear is the REI Co-op Flex Light Air Chair. Wow, that's a mouthful, isn't it? So let's take a look at it first. I'm gonna pull it out here. Let's take a look. So this is the RI Flex Light Air Chair. Let's talk about some specs before we dive into things, right? You know, I like to talk about the specs, the things I like about a piece of gear, the things I don't like about a piece of gear, and how I'm gonna use that piece of gear moving forward into my backpacking system. So let's get started. First of all, I don't have everything memorized 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 so i'm going to just kind of read it off down here uh, first of all the height of the chair i think that's an important piece of information it's 11 inches so it's pretty comfortable i can sit in the chair get back up and it's all good to go it's not so low that i can't you know get up or i need a running start to get up and out of the chair it's a 250 pound weight capacity that should be fine for a lot of folks out there it is made of ripstop nylon, the chair part. So again, good, sturdy, solid, and looks solid, well-made to me. It's aluminum frame. So you can see here the aluminum frame, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes when we get into some of the pros and the cons of the chair. So it's pretty solid there. And then also the chair weighs one pound, they say on their website. I weighed the chair on my scale with the stuff sack that it comes in and I store it in and pack it in. Uh, just to keep everything together and i came up with 16.5 ounces and so not sure if their weight includes the stuff sack but on my scale it was 16.5 ounces which is just barely over one pound so now let's talk about some of the pros some of the things i really liked about this chair as i used it but also what some of the reasons i picked up this chair so some of the pros of the chair honestly it's one pound so it's easy to fit into your backpacking kit and still keep your weight down. It's made of aluminum frame. I love the aluminum frame, the way that it's made. Now you can see here, and I think an important distinction between this and say the chair zero, chair zero's frame goes like this. So the front of the chair is here, back of the chair is back here. And so these two legs are on either side, right and left. And so it's got a lot of great stability this way. But what I found when I was kind of sitting in the chair zero, um, for about a half an hour, I switched back and forth at the REI between the chair zero and this chair. And when I would lean back on the chair zero, I just didn't quite, kind of like the fact that it would kind of could come over top of these back legs then and then just keep going. I felt like I wanted more stability front to back as opposed to side to side. That was what was most important to me personally. And so that was one of the reasons that I went with this and also the cost because it's a little bit lower in cost as well for about the same weight. So what I liked about this chair is that the two legs in the front and the two legs in the back give you a lot of front to back stability, the way it's designed, and a little bit less side to side to uh, side to side um, stability. But I again, wasn't too worried about that. I'm, I'm more worried about flipping back over than I am about, about you know, kind of going off to one side or the other. I feel like I can catch myself a little better that way. So that was just a personal preference when I was looking at the two chairs, something that I personally noticed in those two chairs. The chair is comfortable. Um, you know, and it's kind of ergonomic. It kind of fits my body nicely. It does lean back a little bit more than the chair zero. So if you're a person who wants to sit up more, maybe this isn't the chair for you, but I like to like, you know, I, I get the chair so I can relax a little bit. I'm not like sitting back way back in it, but it does allow you, you know, the, the sitting, the best sitting posture here is just a little bit back. And so I like that because I felt like I was like more relaxed and that's why I got the chair. I can still though sit up in the chair and then cook in front of me. That the 11 inch height is like nearly perfect. And I've got, I'm a short person, got short arms. And so even with my short person, short arms, I can literally put my stove and everything in front of me here and be able to cook. And also some of the stuff off the side, you know, to, you know, the whatever spoons, ingredients or whatever, put it off the side of the chair and I can just work in front of me and, and cook in the afternoon or in the evening if that's what I want to do. So I really like the chair for that reason. Uh, also, it's really easy to pack up. Um, that was one of the things I like. So uh, let me go ahead and do that now because it's really, really quick. You just kind of take the chair off 
the frame. I usually put the the, the uh, chair down like this because I'm going to use it in a second. And then all I do here is take the legs. I usually just start with the short legs first. And then I go to the longer kind of part that holds the actual chair. And then these longest ones are two pieces. And so I fold those down twice. Now I've got this little pack here. I take the um, chair itself, lay it out. And you can't see that because I'm doing it down below me. But all I'm doing is laying the chair out, rolling the chair back, using the chair back to roll up all the legs. And so that's rolled now. And then I take the stuff sack, which is like a mesh, which I like because that means the chair will dry out if it gets wet. Um, and then I put it inside the stuff sack, which talking to you and doing this at the same time is challenging for a person like me. So it's in the stuff sack now and it's compact. The cool thing that I like about this is that I can literally fit it in my 40 liter pack like this right on top inside the roll top. I don't like putting things and hanging things off of my pack, but I can put this right at the top. Um, I put my rain jacket right underneath this or right on top of this. And then this is the next thing down. So if I want to stop and take a break, I can pull out for breaks. Or once I get to camp, if I just want to take a load off real quick, I just open up my pack and take it out. You could secure it on top if you wanted to. The other thing I like about it is I have a longer pocket on the side of my Gossamer gear pack and I can literally put it in that pack, in that pocket if I don't have anything else in there. Or I can put it on the front mesh pocket of my packs. Both of them fits nicely if I want to keep it out. Let's say it gets a little bit wet and I want it to be air out. I don't want to put it in my back, my pack. I can put it in the mesh pocket and it's small enough that it fits into the mesh pocket pretty darn easily. And like I said, the mesh is nice because if you do get some water on this, you, it does like rain on it or whatever, um, you can go ahead and just let it dry out, if, you know, without really doing too much extra work. So that is the chair, uh, flex light chair, or Flex Light Air Chair from REI. Um, let's talk about some things that maybe I didn't like so much about the chair. I got to be completely honest. You know, it's not it's it, it's not that I didn't like some things about the chair because I think for what it is in an ultralight chair, it's designed pretty darn well. It, it does the job. There's one thing that I noticed about it though, is that because there's so such a minimal frame, right? You don't have like cross bars and things like that to like really lock that chair in super like uh, tight, right? Um, I do find that when it's an uneven ground, a little bit uneven ground, it does kind of work around a little bit. It's a little bit loose, right? Meaning that you can move around it, you can feel the, loop, feel the looseness of the chair. It's not super tight and like rigid. And so you can feel the looseness of the chair like that. That was really the only thing that, that kind of like hit my brain that said, hmm, you know, wish it was a little bit tighter. But again, it's one of those things, it's like you realize you got an ultralight chair here. You can't, as soon as you start adding little crossbars and little things that would, would fix that, you're gonna add weight to it. And again, I don't think it was problematic. Like I felt like the chair was gonna collapse. I didn't feel like that I was gonna completely flop over in the chair or anything like that. I just noticed that there's a little bit of uh, extra looseness to it. And that's just something that I'll have to deal with. Now, how am I going to use this moving forward in my gear? I think that's an important thing, considering how a new piece of gear is going to fit into your overall gear system. I like to stay around 10 pound base weight for my longer trips where I also have to do more miles and more, you know, longer food carries and carry a bear can. So my ultralight backpacking weight is usually around 10 pounds. Um, and that will get me through from the, the beginning to, to the end of a through hike. Because a lot of times if I'm in the Sierra, I'm carrying a bear can and you know eight days of food, maybe more sometimes. And so um, I wanna keep my base weight down. That's not a scenario where I think that I would be using this chair. The scenarios where I'd be using this chair is probably when I'm you know taking shorter weekend trips or five day trips and I'm not carrying as much food with bear cans and all those kind of things. And it could easily fit into any one of my, my 60 liter pack, my 40 liter pack, along with my other gear. Um, and so, and I'd still stay under probably 20 pounds. 
I did a test load for an upcoming trip that I'm doing. Total pack weight, my total pack weight with five days of food was under just under 20 pounds with the chair. And so I'm not sacrificing a bunch of weight to carry this chair with me and I can have that luxury item with me and relax and camp. And that's important to me, honestly, here in the East Coast because when I'm backpacking out in the West Coast and Sierra, there's lots of boulders. There's lots of like natural chairs around and you just throw down your, you know, like a, a nice soft, you know, padding and just sit down on a rock. But out here on the East Coast, there's not always a convenient log. Um, there's not always boulders everywhere in the mountains, uh, in, in the uh, Appalachian Mountains everywhere. Uh, and so I find that it's a little bit harder to find a seat in camp. And so it's just better to have a chair with me. Um, so that is my review and my assessment of the REI Co-op Flex Light Air Chair, which is 1 point, or 16.5 ounces. If you have any questions, please post them up down below in the video comments. If you are using a chair that you really like, let us know about that one too and why you like it as well. So until next time, get out there and do some backpacking, do some hiking, stop watching YouTube videos, unless they're my videos. So I will see you on my next video.